Ice Cube, the renowned poet of our postmodern age, once said of the hood mentality, the hood mentality that keeps black men down, that keeps them living in the ghetto. Because if you try and rise up above your station in life, the other blacks in the hood who have that hood mentality will drag you back down. And so you can never rise above your station. Today we're going to be speaking about something that's even sadder really than the hood mentality. We're going to talk about the Janny mentality. The mentality of people who are in the sweepy squad. Who the only thing they wish to do with their lives are to mop up for others. To sweep it up. To cover shit up. You know, to make it all sparkling and clean for their masters. How do you end up with the Janny mentality? Well, it's very simple. These Jannies, their lives, their lives are sad. They have never, ever, ever accomplished anything in their lives. See, for the Janny, he was bullied all throughout his life in school. He was humiliated, you know, degraded, always picked on, always shit on. He's always had a very blasé, average personality. The Janny typically is either um, 500 pounds or a twink skeleton, you know. The, the Janny has typically never had a girlfriend or got laid in his life. The Janny typically has never, ever, ever worked a job that's paid more than minimum wage. The Janny has never had a position in his life of any sort of power. The Janny, you know, has never been even like a middle manager at a McDonald's, for instance. And so the Janny craves that which he's not had before, which is to feel important and to feel powerful. And because his general mentality is of a beta, submissive, servile attitude, the Janny decides that he will attach himself to anybody who offers him the slightest, smallest amount of authority and power. And he believes that this compensates for not having a career not having a girlfriend. The Janny believes that this compensates for never having accomplished anything in his life. And the Janny believes that by doing it for free, this is indeed a virtuous and righteous action. This is what the Janny believes. That is the Janny mentality. And it's a sad and broken mentality. But today, not only are we breaking down the Janny mentality, we're breaking down the Janny Jush mentality. Think of being Janny Jush. Janny Jush is the sort of man who wasn't satisfied with just being a Janny because this man, obviously, his whole life was picked on, shit on, because the only thing he had in his life was his computer. Guys, I'm on the computer. I have my anime games and my lollies and my guy CP guys. I'm Janny Jush. I, I mean, I'm not a low cow. I'm Janny Jush. Janny Jush. So he wasn't content with just being a normal Janny or a normal mod. This man decided that he wanted to become a professional janitor. He wanted to start his own website so that he could clean it up 24-7, 365 for the rest of his life. He wished to be king of the Jannies. But why? Why did he wish to be king of Jannies so? Well, think of it. His whole life he's been bullied. His whole life he's had no friends. His whole life he's been a loser. The man is a lol cow, hitting on apparently 14 year old girls. Apparently this man has created an index to like block child pornography by downloading hundreds of gigabytes of child pornography himself. I don't know if that's true. This is the things that people are sending to me about Janny Jush. Where there's smoke there's fire Janny Jush. This man Janny Jush is such a lol cow. That he decided, Janny Jush decided, Janny Jush decided that he, <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't handle being made fun of by others. So he needed to create the ultimate troll shield for himself by creating the Kiwi Farms. By creating the Kiwi Farms, he believes that other people won't make fun of him. And that he can sweep it up. He can sweep up all the fucking garbage things about himself. All the funny things about himself. This is what Janny Jush believes. Genuinely, Janny Jush believes this. This is a man 
who has decided to make his entire life cleaning it up. It's very sad. You know, Jenny Juice is so emotionally invested in this. Jenny Juice so emotionally invested in this that he's banning people today. He's he banned a motherfucker in the thumbnail today. Why? Because he was raising good points. He was making too much sense for Jenny Juice, so it had to be swept up. Sweep it up, Jenny Juice. Clean it up, brother Jenny Juice. Get the mop. Now he's banning people in my thread. My thread that's been created on me to make me shut up, which I never will, Janny Juice. You know, will the thread include accusations that I'm a pedophile, Janny Juice? You know, or will those posts be deleted, you fucking piece of shit? Do you know what I mean? People are commenting on my thread, you know, saying that this thread is fucking horse shit, that this thread is just full of lies and inaccuracies. But Janny Juice don't give a fuck, and that's why I don't give a fuck to mention Vordrac or the pornography fucking archive thing. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, Janny Juice. Is it prison rules time? You're fucking cleaning it up, banning people on the farms that are defending me. Why? Because you can't handle it. You're banning people that make fun of you because you can't handle it. Because you live in an endless Janny mentality. The endless Janny mentality. Well, I'm living with a prison mentality, son. I am now in the prison mentality where I'm not locked in here with you, Janny Juice. You're locked in here with me, son. And I'm going to make you my fucking prag, Janny Juice. I'm going to fucking sodomize you like I'll sodomize every single motherfucker. And you sit there and you say it's all for fun. The farms is for fun. That we can laugh and be free with the lol cows. Oh, let it roam and be free. Free speech is important. But yet you sweep it up and mop it up at every single opportunity, Janny Juice. And you'll cry, and you'll take this really seriously. PPP accused me of being a pedo. What an evil man. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put the green light on PPP here in prison. I'm gonna put the green light on him and say he's a chomo. Do you know what, Janny Juice? Fuck you, buddy. Sweep it up. Continue to live your fucking Janny mentality, your hug box on the farms, where you pretend you're for free speech. You pretend that you're for taking care. You pretend like you're about having fun. But in reality, all it is about is about troll shielding yourself from all the things about you that are fucking garbage. So just shut the fuck up, Janny Juice. Shut the fuck up. It's over, Janny Juice. You've been exposed as a huckster, a fraudster. You know, a complete, absolute, utter spurg of a man whose only accomplishment in life is to be king of the Jannies. Oh, what a king he is. What an ability to sweep it up. You're a phony. You're a phony, Janny Juice. But don't worry. I'm sure this will be flagged. I'm sure he'll cry some more. Spurg some more. Sweep it up, Janny Juice. Sweep it up. Have fun.